First thing we're going to cover is the kickboxing stance. Here Miranda is standing in a neutral stance. She will step back with her power leg, her strong side, and she's going to line her heels up in almost an L shape. Notice they're not in a complete straight line, but there's a little bit of a back spread on her right leg. Knees are slightly bent, her hands are up, shoulders are shrugged, chin is down, and body turns slightly forward. This is our basic kickboxing stance. From here, if she takes a little bit of weight off one leg and shifts it back and forth, we'll go to our walking stance. Walking stance is staying in the same position, just moving the feet up and down and alternating that weight. She should be able to lift either leg up easily. Now, if she takes her forward foot and pivots it to the side, she's gonna be in a little bit more of a boxing stance. Her upper body may come a little bit more forward over her forward knee, and this will allow for more leg movement, but as you can see, it'd be very easy to kick her in the leg but it's important that we understand the difference between the kickboxing stance and the boxing stance. If we go to a Muay Thai stance, you'll notice she drags her lead foot way back, takes all of her weight, and puts it on mostly her back leg. Her lead foot is on the ball of the foot, and she's lightly balancing it up and down. Uh, this will simulate fast kicks with the front leg and easy to throw thrust kicks. Um, palms, sometimes you'll also see them turn forward, palms out. And this will be able to let Miranda throw elbows and grab the clinch more easily. If we go back to the normal kickboxing stance with that 50-50 weight distribution, if she changes from an orthodox stance and puts her power leg in front and her weaker leg behind, she is now in a south pop stance. And those are our four basic stances. Let's go ahead and review them all one more time. First, our normal kickboxing stance. Part of that is the walking stance. We don't ever want to be like a statue. We want to have constant movement. Then we have our boxing stance, forward foot turned a little bit more sideways. Our Muay Thai stance, lead foot nice and light, heavy on the back leg, and then our southpaw kickboxing stance, or basic stance. Notice chin is down, shoulders up, looking through the top of her eyes, making a nice shell around her face. Let's cover our directional patterns of walking. She's gonna go back to her kickboxing stance. It's pretty basic. Always remember whatever direction you move, you move that foot first. First we move forward, she'll step and drag, then we'll move back, she'll step and drag, Going to her left, she'll step and drag. Going to her right, she'll also step and drag. Now when we go to create angles, she can't just pivot. She's gotta take a little leap step. So if she's gonna angle to the left, her left will step over a little bit, and then she'll pivot adjusting so she's in her fighting stance facing her opponent. She can return by angling to the right by moving her right foot and pointing her left foot directly in front. So those are all the directions, and that's the directional pattern. First we move forward, then back, left, right, Pivot left and pivot right. Great, thank you, Randy.